Hello everyone, XP Games and Elk here, back with a new Fire Emblem Builder tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to make, uh, or the topic about how to make your conversations in Fire Emblem a bit more lively, as well as it will teach you a little bit about uh, typing out a conversation and how to do dialogue. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I'll grab the text editor menu. Uh, last episode we made a talk conversation which switches music and it um, as well as I showed you how to make a new conversation altogether and you can do that uh, switching the music and backgrounds and stuff by calling upon this command the load overworld faces command um, if you want to switch the background or the music mid to uh, mid conversation be sure to check out last episode so, um, in this episode, we'll sh I'll show you how to make your topics or conversations a bit more lively. So, first, let's start with a completely blank conversation, actually. Let's, let's just, I'll make a new one real quick. Um, there you go. So, we've made a new one. And what you want to do is, you see, it's completely empty. And you cannot start typing immediately. Because if we do this, what will happen is, in this simple menu, uh, this is how the conversation looks uh, the game is like this is how the conversation in game would look what it would look like and as you can see it's just a line of text there's nobody speaking nothing is happening so what we want to do is first you want to go to the simple menu um, and what you can do here is double click and then you get all of these options over here what we're going to do first is we're going to click on the character tab and we're going to select a place now let's say left middle, which is a good place, I think. And left middle is uh, the left side of the screen. The character will be facing right uh, when their portrait, uh, unless their portrait is flipped. But they will be facing right. They will look uh, to the right. And if we select right, then the character will, of course, look uh, at, the, at the left. You can also select the outside, which means that the character will be outside of the screen. Uh, what this does is your character is outside of the screen, but you can still make a text box appear, which is nice for if a character walks away and you want them talking outside the screen. So uh, we'll put me or Erica in the left, and let's say we'll put um, we'll, we'll put Franz. I like Franz. We'll put Franz in the right middle, um, so that they're facing each other. Let's remove this real quick. So. Um, now we have two characters loaded in. Uh, I'm going to make this on the serif option. You can make a character talk. So let's say, um, Hi Franz, how are you? For an example. And as you can see, I put this um, uh, at 0003 uh, command here. The at 0003 command um, is like the little green arrow that appear in text boxes. It requires uh, input from the player. So uh, if I type this uh, with this 0003 command, the game will not go on to, uh, to the next line until I press A on the Game Boy Advance. So everyone will see Hi Franz until they press the A button, then it will go to the next line. And um, text boxes in uh, Fire Emblem Game Boy Advance can dis display up to two sentences. So um, we're going to do that because you do not want the player to press the A button every single line. That would get a bit boring. Then you would have to press uh, the A button for one sentence. That would be a bit bland. So let's change this to 001 capital F. And then the game will automatically skip to the next line. So you do not have to press the A button. So now what will happen is the game will load, Hi Franz, how are you? And then it requires an A press to go on to, for an example, um, the I'm good or something like that. So this is the basic uh, sentence editing. Let's load this in real quick. And then we have Franz say like, um, I'm good or something. So, you will see, hi Franz, how are you? And if you press A, then you will go on to Franz that says, I'm good. So that is the basic editing of just sentences and text, dialogue between characters. But there's another, uh, there are a couple of other things you can do in conversations. 
uh, you can move characters and you can make them jump, for an example. Um, as well as you can erase them and make them appear. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another character appear behind Franz. And this will be like, I don't know. Um, what's a cool character? We'll, we'll do Ford. Ford is Franz's brother, seems appropriate. So Ford will now... With the display command, uh, you can select a position. Again, just like I did with uh, me and Franz. You can select a position, and Ford will now appear at the right end, which is uh, to the right behind Franz. So we can also say, like, um, Hello, I'm Franz, his older brother, or something. Uh, and what will happen now is um, Ford, w to the right, will now start speaking. And then Ford's portrait will overlap Franz, his portrait. So, uh, what will happen now is Fr uh, Ford will start speaking. Uh, we'll then do... Um, we'll, we'll remove Ford. You can do that by uh, using the character Erase. Um, and then you can select a position to remove the portrait from. So in this case, we could choose to remove Erica from the conversation by selecting left middle Erica. So let's remove Erica from the conversation by doing this. You see, erase Erica. Erica will be gone from the conversation now. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, remove um, Ford from the right end. Um, and then we're going to load him back in at the left middle. Uh, so now, Franz and Ford are facing each other. I'll do something like, um, oh, I hear Prince Ephraim is in danger or something. And what we will do now is... Um, uh, now Ford will start speaking, and we'll we will load um, Ephraim outside the right screen. Uh, not Ford, but just uh, where's Ephraim? Doesn't really matter who you put there. You don't even have to put somewhere th someone there. I think. So let's just say uh, right outside right. Uh, help me, Ford. Um, so now Ephraim says, uh, "Help me, Ford," and he says that. Um, a text box will appear at the right, and you will s will not see Ephraim. It is like he's all the way, uh, he's somewhere completely else shouting at Ford, come help me. So that was what I was talking about earlier too. So now, uh, there are two more commands. We have the jump, and we have the move character. We're going to make a uh, Ford jump, and what this does is it basically uh, shakes the portrait a bit. So it looks like a character is getting hit, or he just jumps, or moves, is a little bit quirky and excited. That's what this command does. It doesn't require anything else, it just requires the position of the character. So, again, this is Ford. And now, the final one is move character. We'll move Ford from the left middle to the outside right screen. And what will happen is... Um, Wait, what's happening? I wanted Ford to move from the left to the uh, outside right. Then what? What's happening? Um, or I could just remove Ephraim real quick. Uh, right outside right, Ephraim. We'll remove him, and then we'll move uh, Ford from the left to the outside right, which makes Ford run out of the screen. And then we'll finish off the conversation by saying. Uh, by le let's oh, France says um, that was idiotic. That's the end of the conversation. We have to. I do not know if we have to remove Ford. I'll just do that for safety measures, just so that it looks good. So now what we have done is we display Erica on the left, France on the right. Erica will talk. Uh, France will talk. Then Ford will appear behind Franz, uh, he will talk, Erica goes away, Ford moves to the left, uh, I erase him here and display him at the left so that he's correctly flipped to face uh, Franz, and Ephraim shouts help, 
then Ford comes to rescue him and Franz nicely finishes off the conversation. So I'm going to change the conversation real quick by going to the event editor and changing the conversation um, we added to the game last last time. So that should be this one. Yep, I've said it. So now let's load the game. Right. You can see it appear right now, all right. We'll restart the chapter, Ancient Horrors, and if correct, um, we are able to talk to Seth, and what will happen is the conversation between me and Franz will start. So, hi Franz, how are you? I'm good. And then, as I said, Ford appears, hello, I'm Franz's older brother, then I leave, Ford swaps, or like flips, in a way. Oh, I hear Prince Ephraim is in danger. Help me, Ford! Then again, outside, uh, right outside the screen, um, right outside the screen, Ephraim is ca uh, calling for help. Ford jumps and rushes out of the screen. That was idiotic. And that was that. Uh, the little sound bug at the end. That was because of the um, uh, last time the conversation uh, had a little music change in it, but that was not relevant for this. Um, uh, for this convo, so that played all at once and then was removed. So yeah, that is how you make your conversations in Effie Boulder a bit more lively. I hope you enjoyed. If this was a useful video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you like the shorter videos or you prefer the more detailed, longer ones. Let me know your opinion. Um, I'd be glad to hear uh, what you guys have to say. And um, consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel and it um, motivates me to make more videos like this. Anyway, I'm XPGames and all, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something from it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!